if we look at this slightly differently, you'll notice that there are levels there. And so the work that Alicia doesn't delegate is the work that Alicia can do. The work that Bob doesn't delegate is the work that Bob can do, and so on. Now, what is it about this? Why is it that in that simple construct of going laterally, the moment we tip it on its end, it becomes uncomfortable for people? The moment we turn it around and put it like that, we have notions of bureaucracy, command and control, all of these sort of things come into it, come into our thinking. Why is it that that happens? I want you to take a moment at your tables and discuss why is it that, you know, because I've been testing this out lately, that there is a natural human tendency, a very natural human tendency to believe that I shouldn't be the boss man. And that, that bo being bosses is a bad thing, okay? And, uh, I, and, I, and where I've developed this theory is talking to managers, because managers don't like to be the boss. We don't want to be put in those situations where we're in an awkward situation where we have to say, uh, uh, no, that's not the right work, or you're not doing that well, or whatever the case may be. And, and I think there are some deep-seated beliefs in people that that notion of being a boss is actually a bad thing. And, and so I, I, th I think there's, there's part of that. I think there is very much the reality of, okay, well, that person's getting paid more. Uh, and, and, and by the way, if there are any consultants in the room, there's a great question that I love to ask uh, CEOs. How much money do you spend on your human resources? Right? And some can answer that, and they sort of go, well, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, give me a gross number. And then you ask them, are you getting your money's worth? And they're crestfallen. 